Here we are, week three for our picks. Uh, we're going to do the early games, uh, including Thursday up until the afternoon games on Sunday night. Some of us are doing okay on our uh, first two weeks picks. Some of us not so much. Some of us are doing terrible. I wonder who that is. Hmm. The old out of touch man is my guess, but we'll find out yeah. in just a second. So uh, for people who, yeah, people who play darts here, darts, see those darts. Uh, what we call people who uh, go for points in cricket is a point whore. Yeah, which is what you've been the past two weeks, and you're not wrong, right? So if you're betting, you're not wrong. Take the points. Most times you're you're correct, and that's what you've mostly used in your strategy. And that's why you're one of the few pundits. Uh, who have a winning record so far against the spread, right? Yeah, so I, I enjoy taking the points. I actually don't, but uh, it, it's just something about them. Like you have to – that's why I hate people that pick games that don't use points. Come on, man. It's about making money, right? So <laughs> I, we've, we've checked out a couple shows, right, where yeah. uh, these guys are picking games and they're not mentioning spreads. Like, dude – if you want me to pick uh, Seattle versus the Niners and there's no spread, or you want me to take uh, Broncos versus the Texans with no spread, that's that's pretty easy stuff, right? Hi, Mac. Yeah. Hi, Mackie. Yeah, that's Mackie. Yeah. So, I mean, that's pretty easy, right? I mean, yeah. I, I would assume that anyone who's going to view this is kind of looking for some sort of insight uh, for gambling purposes, right? Because you don't need us to tell you that the Broncos are better than the Texans. Of course they are. Yeah, of course. They are. Right, right. So let's let's talk about the ten point spread that was involved, right? Yeah. So we we need to know what's going on. Okay, they are better, but how? So how much better, right? Yeah, so ten points. The whole point. Points? Yeah, come on. Yeah, I I, I find that ridiculous. Is like. Yeah, you know, again, I won't name names, but uh, a few of these shows, like, what the hell are you doing, man? Yeah. Who, who can't pick straight up games? Although, uh, I will name this one, uh, Prisco from uh, CBS Sports. Uh, this guy's actually picking without spread. He's actually uh, sub 500. Like, how the hell is that happening? We would not be. You, even you wouldn't be sub 500 without the spread. No, I don't think so, man. No. So, Yeah. I you guess know, let's, let's go into the record. So last week I went seven and nine, which is a, a shitty week for me. Shitty week, uh, uh, but there's some big spreads last week, right? Big spreads. There was. It was difficult. What? What'd you go again? Just put put it on camera. Put it on film. I can't, I can't even read these numbers, but I think <laughs> I think it says four and twelve. It does say four and twelve. Holy shit! It does. Say four and twelve. Yeah. Um, yeah, so you're 10 and 22 on the season. Wow. 10 and 22. Ouch. God. It makes me nervous this week because we've talked about, uh, even though I'm, you're going to flip flop so much, I already know because you're so unsure. Well, I, I might let you go first every time. I just might echo whatever. <laughs> you I am 17 and 15 going into week three. So I'm above 500, which is really good. It's awesome. That game, right? Well, in the first two weeks of the season, that's awesome, actually. I mean, we don't know what's going on. So, yeah, it's pretty, that's pretty awesome. Yeah, so let's, let's get into this uh, week three, and right. let's talk about it. This is, this is uh, I start the comeback trail right now. Right now. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Uh, so, <laughs> first on the docket is Pittsburgh at Cleveland. Pittsburgh's getting four and a half. Again, we talk about division games, et cetera. And uh, Cleveland has not impressed me. This is a Thursday night game. I think Pittsburgh's going to cover the spread. Not Maybe not necessarily win, but cover the spread at four and a half. Again, I'm a point taker. That's what I'm doing. Yeah, I have to agree here because uh, division games, right? I mean, you and I typically think, unless it's in, in, uh, an egregious difference, right? Uh, division games, you look at about three points. Uh, yeah, a field goal a, win. Yeah, right. <clears throat> field goal win is pretty impressive. So, yeah, I, I, I kind of feel like uh, the Browns are the more complete team. Um, 
quarterbacks, uh, that's a toss up. I mean, I assume they're starting Trubisky again, even though there's a lot of calls for Pickett uh, in Pittsburgh. Um, and then, of course, Jacoby. Jacoby's been doing pretty well. Okay, as, as well as you could hope for. <clears throat> so I, I kind of feel like the Browns are going to win by a field goal. So I, I will take the points and Pittsburgh as well. Yeah, okay. See, that makes me nervous. Um, yeah. <laughs> you should be, actually, all I'm, of you people. I'm shaking in my boots now. This <laughs> Pittsburgh should make you very nervous. Yeah. So, yeah, you're nervous too. Um, so, um, so we got the Buffalo Bills at the uh, Dolphins. Buffalo is giving up or laying six at the yeah. Dolphins. And <clears> – <throat> Here's the thing. I know Dolphins looked great last week. Well, okay. Not Did they great. know? Did they not know? Great. They gave up a whole lot of points. I know. I, I immediately retracted that. Yeah. Uh, not great. They they just came back and had a great comeback. Yeah. Well, yeah Again, they, division they, game, and it's at Miami. However, I'm riding the Bills hard right now. Uh, they've been blowing out teams. They look really good. They're a complete team. I think the defense is going to hold on better than the freaking Baltimore Ravens. They they screwed me last week. Uh, but well, a few games I won. So cool. yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. That should tell you something. He needed a twenty-eight point comeback in the fourth quarter. Right. Yeah, I needed a twenty-eight point comeback. Yeah, uh, no, so, to win a game. Yeah, so it's like we just discussed, right? Uh, it's another division game. So I'll take your uh, bills, by the way. Bills. Bills, you're t- you're giving the points, you're taking the bills. Laying the same. Uh, yeah. So like we just discussed, it, it's a division game, uh, which we typically talk about a field goal. You're right, the Bills are we have them as number one in our power rankings this week. Be sure to check that out. Yeah. Um however, uh I think maybe it's a uh come back down to earth moment for the Bills when you're playing your division. And you're playing the second best team in your division. Um, I'm, I'm going to take the points. I'm going to take the Dolphins at home. Uh, I just, I believe this is probably a, one of those field goal kind of games. Okay, uh, I do agree with you. It's a kind of a, a scary game just because it, it almost seems they always talk about trap games. It feel kind of feel has that kind of feeling. So, well, I, I don't think the Bills are um, neglecting the Dolphins is not that at all, but look, man, this, I just don't think this can continue unabated this crushing every single team. And then you, you talk about a team in your division who knows you so well. I think that's, that's the issue. Yeah. That's, and I'm not, I'm not uh, foreseeing like a 41 to seven kind of score. Like they dropped on our freaking Titans, right. but uh, a touchdown, I think they can win by a touchdown. That's all I'm saying. Gotcha. You're wrong. You're completely wrong. But yeah, sure. Okay. Yeah. Listen to the 10 and 22 guy. Um, Baltimore at New England. Baltimore is laying three at New England. And I think that's a fair line. So I'm going Baltimore. I think they have revenge on their mind from last week. Uh, they're going to get pissy. And it's not like Lamar played poorly against the Miami Dolphins. Their defense. Not played very well yeah. fucking sucked let's be honest well in the fourth quarters yeah that's so right uh i i just feel like they're gonna bounce back they're, they're gonna win this by maybe 10 to 14 points to me Baltimore. yeah so uh i believe belichick's gonna come up with a defense that can kind of stymie the running of Jackson, because look, you're going to take away either his passing or his running, right? Uh, that, that's the Belichick thing. You're going to take away what they like best. And I think he thinks that it's Jackson's running. So I think he's going to stuff the running lanes. I think his uh, pass rush is going to stay um, disciplined and stay in their lanes and come straight forward. So I think he's going to try and take that away. But I think Jackson is going to beat him throwing because the the Patriots aren't that good. No. Three points is not enough. Um, Patriots won last week, so you know they're cool. We we talk about uh, Belichick doesn't lose two games in a row. Well, he won last week. He's going to lose this week. I'm going to take uh, Jacksonville. I'll give the points. Jacksonville, Baltimore. Uh, 
you know, what, what's her name? <laughs> Baltimore. Baltimore. Baltimore is playing uh, New England. And- is it Baltimore? Oh, wait, <laughs> shit, that's totally different. No, I'm gonna take uh, I'm gonna take the Baltimore Ravens over the New England Patriots. That's in Maryland. Uh, not in uh, yeah. So, and by the way, <laughs> New England doesn't have Tyreek Hill. So last I checked. So I don't think there's a, any uh, worries about that. So it doesn't matter. Mac Jones could never hit Tyreek Hill just like Tua can't unless Tyreek comes back to the wall. Tua can, Tua can do enough to get him four touchdowns. I'll tell you that. Um, all right. So let's go to Philly at Washington. Philly is laying six and a half at Washington. And I understand why, because Philly looked great against Minnesota, which awesome. a fucking chair could have looked great against Minnesota last week. I, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. There, he could have sat back and just thrown the ball from his ass. And it, it would have been the same exact result because every receiver is wide open. I don't think that's going to be the same against Washington because, again, division game, et cetera, et cetera. Having said all that, I'm taking Philadelphia. <laughs> all right, so and a half, yeah. I'll, I'll I'll give the six and a half. I'm taking Philly. Yeah, so you know my theory about Carson Wentz: uh, win one game, lose another. Yeah. Uh, so uh, loss last week. Yeah. Uh, he's going to win this week. I'm going to take the points. I'm going to take the Commanders. Um, I just I don't know what we learned from Philly. Maybe they are that good. I doubt it. I just thought that the Vikings defense was so loose that as you said, he could have been sitting on his butt completing those passes. So yeah, I don't think commanders are gonna give that same look. Division game, that's too many points. I'm gonna take the commanders and the points. Yeah, I just think I, I think they'll they'll only win by a touchdown. I just think they cover by a half point. So because I don't think Washington's good either. And yeah, I you're definitely gonna leave in Carson wins, but yeah. either way, our lock of the week coming up. I cannot believe this line. Kansas City at Indianapolis. What, what's the line? The line currently is Kansas City minus five and a half at Indianapolis. This is our lock of the week, people. Right. We are Indy fans. We are Colts fans. Chiefs are going to dominate this game. <laughs> it's not even going to be close. <clears throat> Look. So much so that you and I actually locked this bet in on uh, Monday or Sunday night. We put a hundred. We put a hundred dollars in Sunday night, Monday night. Yeah, because it was six and a half. Yeah, it was six and a half at that point. Like we thought it was going to jump to like what, like at least fourteen, at least at least a ten. We thought at least, at least a ten. Yeah, yeah. Because uh, the Bills uh, gave ten to the Titans. We're like, well, crap. I mean, <laughs> Indy. Did you just see him lose 24 nothing to the Jags? <laughs> They're gonna it's gonna go to 10. So we locked it in at six and a half. It's currently five and a half, which is what we're betting right now. Um, you and I have scoured the internets looking for a reason that Vegas and the betters would actually be betting on the Colts. Why this line came down, <clears throat> can't understand it for the life of me. Look, Pittman's back. Uh, Shaq Leonard is a week to week decision. He's, he's been full practice today, but who he's knows? Been participating in practices every single week, and then they scratch him, right? So maybe he plays, maybe he doesn't. But anyway, he's one freaking guy. He's a very good guy, but he's one freaking guy. And we're talking about what we think is the top two, if not one, team in the league. I still don't understand this line. I don't understand it for life of me. Uh, so we're we're betting against our Colts. I hate it, but we have to do it. it it's heartbreaking for me because uh, you and I have always said we're net. We never bet on the Colts. No, we already have a much. We we have emotional stake in them. So yeah, when you already have your heart in it, why would you put your money in it as well? But this was too enticing, and now five and a half. Yeah, yeah. yeah I'm sorry. Uh, I'm, I'm going to take the Chiefs. I will lay the points. And again, as you said, our lock of the week. That's our lock of the week. Uh, bet the Chiefs. Right. You're going to win money, guaranteed. Yeah. 
so then next up we got Saints at Carolina. Saints are uh, laying three at Carolina. And that makes sense to Carolina and Baker have not that looked that good. I think their defense is pretty decent and uh, McCaffrey's starting to come alive a little bit uh, for the offense of Carolina, but <clears throat> the Saints defense is really, really good. Uh, Tom Brady couldn't really score against them. Right. It makes me think that Baker's going to score against them. Yeah. Yeah, uh, I agree. And Jameis might throw three or four picks. I don't know. But I, I'm putting my money on uh, Saints are a better team overall. And J- Jameis, he could still throw touchdowns, but he throws a lot of interceptions as well. Um, but only three points. I'm laying the points. I'm taking the Saints. Yeah, so you and I both agree that uh, Matt Rule is going to be fired at the end of this year. Yeah. I think he continues his march to the sea as he burns his team to the ground. Yeah. Um, look, you're not a Baker fan. I think he's a competent quarterback, but the Saints are a better team. That's a hell of a defense. Um, I think they can certainly cover the three. I'm taking the Saints here. I don't like giving points, especially at someone else's home, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give the points and I'm going to take the Saints. Yeah. I, yeah, I think we we talked about this enough where it just makes sense. They're they're not as good. And no. the Saints defense, I think, is what makes the difference, right? I, I think so, yeah. They're Definitely. a good defense. Yeah. So. Good. All right, so we got the uh, Raiders at the Titans. The Raiders are laying two at the Titans. Uh, it's hard to judge after that beatdown they just caught from Buffalo. Yeah. Uh, they are at home, and – they're a tough team. I'm not going to say they're not a tough team. I just think the Raiders are better. They have a good pass rush. Uh, Derek Carr uh, getting with Devontae. I, I I just think they have more weapons, and I don't know who's starting the fucking game. So uh, are they bringing in uh, Malik or uh, are they bringing in Tannehill? So <clears throat> it's it's a tough call. I, I I just I think the Raiders are better and only two points. I'll stick with the better team at that point. Yeah, I don't know how you come back from benching your starting quarterback and bringing in your uh, your new draftee. Uh, that, that that's tough sledding. <clears throat> you and I both said before the uh, Bills game that the Titans are a tough team and they're built right. They're built solid, but then they got humiliated. Yeah. Humiliated. So, for me, I um, also thought the Raiders got humiliated. That scoop and score in overtime against the uh, Cards, I, I think they want to atone for that. I think they're going to try their best to atone for that. I'm going to take the Raiders. And if they, if, if they don't step on the gas and not let off, yeah. then I don't know what the hell they're doing. Yeah. And, and you know, they're going to – get left in the dust in the AFC West. So I, I think they step on it. I think they cover two points. Yeah, come yeah on. it's only two points, and they're a better team. And d- let's not get it twisted. They were killing in the whole game. And they then, were. Uh, it was a humiliation. Comes, yeah, yeah. Fourth quarter comes That fourth quarter on. was humiliating. Yeah. How would you let that happen? I, I, feel I mean, like- it's – Kyler Murray running around the backfield before he goes and scores the two point conversion. 18 seconds. A yeah. 18 it's seconds. a meme. Yeah. It's an 18 second meme. Come on, man. I agree. Um, yeah. So I'm taking the Raiders. Yeah. Both on Raiders. We're agreeing a little too much here. I don't like it. Um, you should be very nervous, my bro. I'm very nervous. I'm sweating. Um, Lions at Vikings. Lions uh, getting six at the Vikes. I was not impressed with the Vikings' pass defense, to say the freaking least, okay? They were bad. And I don't know what kind of defensive strategy they're going to come up with this week, but letting receivers just run free, like just (laughs) picking roses and, you know, I mean, it's crazy. So if they continue with that, uh, Lions can score. They have a competent quarterback that can actually throw the ball down the field and hit these receivers. So 
Uh, I'm going – I'm taking the points. The Lions, I don't think they're better than the Vikings. I think Vikings will win by three, but not six or seven. And I'm going with the Lions. Give me the six. Yeah, so this is where I kind of lost my discipline with taking points. Um, I mean, look, division game, I, I – I think they know how to play the Lions. I don't think it's going to be the same thing with uh, Philly. It seemed like with Philly, they were trying to play uh, Hurts might run on them at yeah. first. They did uh, not respect the pass. Right. So uh, Goff, they're not scared of him running, right? So they can go into more of a basic defense. I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give the points. I'm going to take the Vikings on here on a bounce back game. Yeah. Okay. Fair enough, loser. Um, so we got the, the Texans at the Bears. Texans are getting two and a half. Uh, I think we both agree that the Texans are better than uh, people think because they, they even played the uh, Broncos tough. And so they're getting two and a half at the Bears, and we think the Bears stink. Uh, I, I don't mean to speak for you, but I'm just saying, I, I'll, give me the Texans plus two and a half, period. Uh, yeah, I thought the thing we agreed on is, is one of the worst games of the weekend. I mean, oh, outside, we're going to get to one worse. Trust me. <laughs> yeah, I don't even know if uh, inside Chicago and Houston people care about this game. I don't know. Uh, you're right. The Bears stink. Uh, they are legally not allowed to have a good quarterback. Uh, Fields is not a good quarterback. Is that I, Chicago proper that they're not? Allowed? <laughs> uh, you know. <laughs> I don't even think that if up in Gary they're watching this crap. Yeah. Listen, <laughs> uh, Justin Fields is not a good quarterback. No. He's not. Uh, I don't know what evidence they need to see. I've seen enough. He sucks. Davis Mills, you know, I've been high on this guy just because I think that he can play in this league. Uh, I, I think the Texans are trying to tank. But I don't think they can possibly be bad enough to tank against the Bears. I'm going to take the Texans. Uh, you know, the, I'm going to take the Texans. Yeah, Texans, Texans. I, I get it. Uh, let's go to Bengals at Jets. Bengals uh, minus their land five at the Jets. <clears throat> this is another one of those kind of bounce back weeks. Uh, and I think bounce like, back after two weeks because the Bengals have looked like crap. Yeah, and then a come down to earth week from the Jets beating the Browns in an incredible yeah. win. So I, I just feel this, this is going to be an emotional downfall for uh, the Jets, and I think the Bengals are going to bounce back, and I think uh, uh, Burrow is going to show up. Uh, I think they're going to beat him by a touchdown, and so it's minus five. I'll lay the points. Give me Cincinnati. Yeah, I, I don't think the Jets' defense is all that bad. I think it's actually decent. Okay, it's yeah, decent. Yeah. But I, I believe the Bengals are – I think they're going to pick themselves up, dust themselves off, and try and show the world and themselves that they actually belonged last year in the Super Bowl. I think they do bounce back. I'm going to lay the points as well. I'm going to take the Bengals. Okay. So that is it for the early games. Uh, we'll be right back with the late games and Monday night game. So I guess we're done here. I guess we're done here.